Hey there, Scorpios. <laughs> we are officially outside. Listen to the nature. That's your intro. You hear? Do you really hear? I'm talking about those birds was just singing the beautiful melody of nature. That's your intro. <laughs> nature is Scorpio's intro. Welcome back for another outside Scorpio love reading in this joyous June energy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and viewing my content. I am Brown Eyes here of Brown Eyes Intuitions, honey. And over here, it's all about the Scorpios. This is Scorpio's world over here where Scorpio rules. Now it's cloudy today. We're not expecting any rain, I don't think. So I decided to take advantage of it because it is so cool and so beautiful and so pleasant. The wind is just blowing. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So I greet you with the beautiful energy of nature, Scorpios. Shout out to all of my beautiful, amazing Scorpios, to all of my highly favored and my tarot question Scorpios. Shout out to Carlos Davis, shout out, shout out to Phoenix Rise, and shout out to Dirt Biker, shout out to Lakeisha, shout out to Verna, <laughs> shout out to uh, Katina, shout out to Angela, shout out to Jan Janae, <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kimberly, my pa Patreon uh, members as well. So members over here, I, I'm going to uh, make you a poll so that you guys can vote on the next reading that I do for you because I am creating you because I haven't finished. I Look, I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to get it done. So I want to know what is the next reading that you Scorpio members here on Brown Eyes want to hear. And I'm gonna post a um, I'm gonna post a poll. Shout out to everybody who was able to join the live the other night at the other channel at Truth Revealer 3363. I appreciate you guys so much. I will be doing uh, individual readings over there as well. I'm also gonna be posting another video at my Patreon. And for those who are interested, I do have one video up. It is your Ratchet Love Hour video, but you have to be a Patreon member to be able to uh, view that content. And it's only for those who are interested. Thank you so much for your support, Scorpios. Now, Scorpios, this is a general love reading, of course. Now, you know it's not gonna be for everybody. So only take the part that does fit, that you know fits and just discard the rest here, you know? What is for you, the universe is gonna make sure you get it, honey. You ain't gotta worry about it, you ain't gotta stress. Because stressing don't make it better, it makes it worse. Stressing don't make it better, it makes it worse, yeah. Stressing don't make it better, it makes it worse, yeah. Stressing don't make it better, it makes it worse, yeah. So see, there ain't no need of you stressing, because all it's gonna do is make it worse. <laughs> you just gotta keep on pushing, keep on pushing, don't stop, no. Your last reading talks about keep on going here. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpios? Out of the Wondering Heart Oracle deck here, Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Pertaining to life, love, obstacles, victories, all things that are attainable unto Scorpios. What does Scorpio need to know for Scorpio's highest good? All right. Let's see. I keep feeling mist here. I guess this is mist in the trees. Um, because I know it rained the other day because you know the trees still holding moisture and there's so many trees around here. Neglect, ooh, sacrifice, is that it? Well, we're gonna take neglect. Are you neglecting your home? Are you neglecting your, your home duties here, Scorpios? Let's see, number 20. Let's see, Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpios? Neglect, hmm. It's almost like you 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 may not be who oh, you got the fool, okay? Everybody plays the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio. I'm gonna have to get one more. 
neglecting food. <laughs> you neglected the food. Is that, is that where we're going here? All right, Spirit. What a, one more message for Scorpios. Neglect the fool. Now, this fool look like they're thinking about something like, hmm. Should I say something to Scorpio? Hmm. Should I call them? Should I answer? Hmm. See, look how they looking like, hmm. Are you saying, hmm? <laughs> I feel a hmm going on in Scorpio's world. Hmm. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Autopilot. Maybe time to take care of Scorpios, what I'm saying. Bear fruit, they're gonna bear fruit again, though. All right, so let's see. Put my glasses on. How are you doing today, Scorpios? Have you guys been dating here? What have you been doing? <laughs> I know somebody out there <laughs> getting it in. I know somebody out there getting it in. Come on now. All right, let's see about this neglect, Scorpio. So it says distracted seclusion. Mm. You 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 are neglecting your own needs of love. I bet that's what it is. You probably trying to distract yourself with other things, but you're neglecting yourself. It says you make amends with your inner child. You remember her for who she is and you apologize for not considering her feelings more often. You comprehend that every feeling has a root and every root must be discovered for total wellness. You take the necessary steps to improve your overall health. It says here you feel abandoned. You are doubtful of your significance. Uh, you've lost track of your everyday pursuits due to the funk you are in. It feels as if everyone's life is moving at a steady upward pace and you aren't being considered or included here. See? So what spirit is telling you to do is just make amends with your inner child because spirit is telling you if you're feeling this type of way, it's not justified. It's not true. It's only true if you make it, if you believe it. So see, that inner child has to be healed in order for you to see the positive side in you because sometimes we be so busy beating our own selves up about the, neg the negative things that we see in ourselves. I'm telling you, we could be our own worst critic, can't we? You know, we can be our own worst critic about ourselves here. And I feel like what Spirit is telling you, make amends with that inner child. It's a child that didn't know, a child unlearned, a child just didn't know. You can't, you can't fault a child. So Spirit is talking about even though you are adult, the inner child, the inner child that did not know, make amends with it. Let it go and move on. That's what Spirit is saying. Spirit say, don't, don't allow that to take hold of you. Amend it, face it, heal it. Uh, forgive yourself and have peace. So now you have the fool. Number 38. It says counterproductive repetition here. It says smirks and eye rolls are being given. Ooh, I told you it says smirks. It's almost like somebody doing this or you know, <laughs> I had to put a neck in it. <laughs> I got to throw the neck in it, but it's almost like you like, <laughs> wait, something to that effect. You're kind of smirking and you're rolling your eyes. <laughs> That's what it says. That what y'all doing? Y'all giving the folks the old Scorpio eye roll? Say it ain't so, Scorpio. <laughs> Say it ain't so. When you start giving them the eye and rolling your eyes, when Scorpio starts smirking and rolling their eyes, that means Scorpio is not interested. Mm. <laughs> so let's see. It says smirks and eye rolls are being given. It says you know better. And when you know better, you do better, period. This card invites you to examine your surroundings. Ask yourself the necessary question, Scorpios. Are you engaging in pro pro productive activity? Are you entertaining healthy relationships? Are you ignoring undeniable deal breakers? 
Are you prioritizing your best interests? Are you moving with caution? Are you being uh, your moral code to hold space for the under undeserving? Wow, are you accommodating special needs for those who don't think twice about your comfort? Oof, are you seeking adornment from an outside source? Are you being honest with yourself? Are you repeating habitual patterns that do not elevate you? Are you pretending to be glad about the shortcomings you receive? This card encourages you to strive for improvement. It says the full card represents a divine time to start fresh. See, it's almost like stop the procrastination here, Scorpios. Stop the procrastination here. <clears throat> if there's a problem, fix it. There, there we are again. And yeah, I hear you already saying, yeah, it's easy, easier said than done. But I'm telling you, you got to, it starts from your thought process. Look, nobody's trying to tell you to hurry up and do it physically, but you have to start preparing your thoughts. Your thoughts have to do that because your actions is going to follow your, your thoughts. Now you have autopilot here. autopilot it says <clears throat> abstraction detachment mm. it says here because she kind of covering herself up here here you are deeply centered unconcerned and unprovoked with the world around you there is no need to blink out of this state of being your energy is neutral neither welcoming nor standoffish. To some degrees, you are stuck, and to another, you are liberated. See, some of y'all are right where you need to be right now in your life too. Okay, now it says, this is your homecoming, Scorpios. Pleasurable fortune greets you at the door. Anxiety has no status nor blessings here. Uh, wait. Anxiety has no status or blessings here. Life is abundant because you have claimed it, okay, uh, to be, and so it shall be. Mm. There is no desire to adjust the past nor govern the future. The diligence that you possess and the empathy you hold for others speaks for itself. Mm. You have no apprehension moving forward. Your confidence is steadfast. You're moving through the world, declaring love and cheer, knowing that your efforts will manifest tenfold. Ooh, 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 See, that's probably why you got bare fruit here. Then you got f uh, familiar, familiarity, familiarity. Then you got fertility, familiarity. And then you got fertility. See, something is growing here. It's almost like spirit is saying, look at you once you stop shucking and jiving along and once you start playing with yourself, you can have it. You can have whatever you want. All you have to do is just get serious and just do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's what Spirit is saying. Spirit say, don't neglect your desires because you remember how many other people that you have built up in one way or the other. I don't see sacrifice on this table, not this time. No, it's not for you to sacrifice for anybody else other than for yourself. You gotta sacrifice for yourself because I feel like something is dynamically happening for you. Spirit is saying, all you got to do is move. You'd be surprised what can happen if you do it. Whatever this thing is, if, is it a love relationship? Is it starting over? Is it a new business? Is it relocating? Whatever it is, all Spirit wants you to do is to do it. <laughs> Just do it because something is guaranteed for someone that you're going to be successful in it because the only thing is stopping you because you need to make amends with your inner child here, Scorpio. But remember, this is a very, very fertile time for you. This is a very, very fertile time for you. Now is the time for you to embrace it and uh, use it for your advantages since it's about you, which reminds me of that empress energy, that divine feminine, that fertility energy. But it, it could be, you know, because divine feminine represents abundance here. Nature, Venus, romance, birth, babies, life. 
new beginnings, prosperity, etc., etc., etc. Scorpios. <laughs> wow, Scorpio, you always have the amazing energy coming out for you. It's just amazing how sometimes people, and, and I know everybody's not at the same level at the same time, but it's just like the energies and the messages that come out for you. I just be hoping that, and then when I turn around and see a sad coming, I'm like, but don't you know how powerful you are? And it's like for anybody, it's really any zodiac sign, you know, it's like we're hurt because of lack of knowledge. We don't heal properly because of lack of knowledge. We don't understand. But really, once you really tap into your inner power, you'll realize that you come equipped with everything you need. Everything you need, Scorpios, everything you need is in your tongue and in your thoughts. Everything you need. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpios? We love life here. July, a, a joyous June energy. We're still in Gemini energy. Then we're heading into Cancer. They must be mating. You hear that? That bird over there just putting on the act. It's just so funny, y'all. It's just so amazing. We're not different from these quote unquote animals because they be flexing with each other. <laughs> it's almost like the male bird is like, look, you ain't you seen them flapping like this. <laughs> I bet you they ain't flapping like this, though. She's like, yeah, 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 I seen old Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob is a professional flapper. I, I've seen it all. Like, yeah, but you ain't seen it flap like this. <laughs> he really was getting it. See, they going ham out there. <laughs> he trying to prove his point. <laughs> She's not impressed. <laughs> oh, snap. Somebody was not impressed by that flex. And I'm just saying, they seem better. Maybe that's you, Scorpio. You're not, and you're no longer impressed with the same mundane type of love or, or people that come in your life. You're no longer impressed. So that means that you have elevated. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Scorpios. Love. See there? You always have love, Scorpios, because you are love. Yeah, they was up there having added. Now, it could have been two guys. You know, because I know that they're very, very, you know, you know, when they're trying to mate their, their partner here, they're, you know, sometimes they have to fight. So it could be two ma two males going at it. And she's sitting around here telling, girl, look at him. Girl, look at him. You're like, you, you gonna date him? I might if he win, but I ain't if he lose. <laughs> girl, that don't look right. <laughs> what my daddy gonna think? <laughs> you better win. <laughs> all right, all right, Spirit, show me Scorpios. I keep saying that Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, so. For some of you Scorpios, you are in this, first and foremost, before you are considered to be marriage material, you're so much more than that. Because for yourself, you're someone here who is grounding yourself. Uh, you're very, very loyal. Um, you believe in taking care of business here. You're very, very intelligent here. You're a thinker here. You're planning for your future here. Uh, you're in this generosity energy. You, you're in this giving energy. You got a lot of gratitude around your energy because for some of you guys, it's showing. It's like I say, you know, when, when you're sitting this way, see, they at it again, see? Somebody gonna win. <laughs> That's the love call. Love call your name. Queen of Pentacles. All right. All right. So let's see. You have the strength card. The fool. Four cups. Four one. They go to Queen of Pentacles. So that Queen of Pentacles. That Queen of Pentacles is supposed to come out. So I'm going to let her come out. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But check it out. Right next to this Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, is the tower. There you go. I wonder why. Somebody watching you, Scorpio? Somebody want to talk to you? 
Mm. Let's see what's going on here. Go on, sing it, baby. You might, you might be the winner. I like this guy. I'm rooting for him, huh? <laughs> We're gonna call him Miko. That's Miko over there. Miko flew over there. And I think that's Travez over there. Okay, that's Miko. Miko, you know, he got a little bit more, you know, a little bit more umph. And Travez, you know, he's kind of, he's all, he's all buff, you know, but he, he ain't coming with nothing, okay? <laughs> Now, look, now you may have somebody here. So you may have a feminine watching you. Somebody could have just found out about you, Scorpios. Maybe someone is finding out someone is married. Some of you Scorpios have been married, but you've been separated and you've been dating someone and they didn't know you were married. And they're gonna be upset about it because I feel like they had plans with you. All right, let's see. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. All right, Spirit, what's going on here for Scorpios? I see that Virgo energy. All right, you want to come out? We'll take it in. Virgo energy. This is soul searching here. This is somebody here searching answers. See, I was trying not to go there, but you know somebody's searching for answers. Huh? Somebody's searching for answers here. See? Mm -mm. Could be a Virgo here. Is that that loud ride? All right, Spirit, what's going on here? Mm. Four of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is a commitment, a relationship, a harmonious relationship, some type of activity, some type of festivity, a relationship. <laughs> Look at Meech. Meech making his way. He, Me, see, Meech is trying to lure uh, Donna. We're going to call her Donna. Me just trying to lure Donna closer to him. He said, man, nobody got time to fight Tra Travez. You know, he ain't gonna do nothing. Get on over here, Donna. <laughs> he calling his chick over there. That's what he doing. And she's like, but don't nobody call you. Don't, you don't call me. But she's steady coming, okay? I see you, Donna. <laughs> Can't fool us Scorpios. We know. <laughs> wow. The Hierophant, Six of Cups. What's going on here, Scorpio? There's something going on. Let me let me take my time. I'm just gonna let nature flow. <sighs> All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios? The hangman I saw. Six of Wands. Well, I wonder what something brought to someone's attention. <laughs> something was brought to someone's attention, so someone went looking. Uh oh. I feel like something was brought to someone's attention, Scorpio. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. Here we go with this, Scorpios. Mm. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? Mm. Two of Cups. There you go, baby. See? The Star card. Aquarius Energy. And the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. Knight of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles. So it could very well be that someone may be trying to, maybe someone is trying to, you remember you got a lot of, this autopilot is ushering you in. It's like you're in a very, very good place because you're not stressing. For some of you, for some of you guys, you need to let go of something and, and start taking more initiative towards uh, you, what you're really trying to manifest. You're gonna have to be active in it, okay? Because that's gonna do wonders for you. When, Cause it's like when you sit and watch it, and it, and it don't mean it don't mean about that situation. God, man, they fighting over Donna. Donna must got that good, huh? <laughs> 
Donna must be a Scorpio. <laughs> so it's almost like you're having to let go of something here. Love yourself and not, ch and, and not stress about it. Because when you don't stress about it, that's when it is free. When you do not stress about it, that's when it's free to come. It's free to manifest here. So somebody could be observing you and trying to find out something about you, Scorpios. Now, maybe someone wants to know if you're married or if you are single. I feel like it's a soulmate. You may have outside influences involved in this too. But the tower card here is what's, what's the thing here. It's almost like something came down and then somebody got it. It's almost like something came down and then it brought attention to something. When, when, when something fell apart, then it started showing some stuff. Oh, it's so cool out here, refreshing. You got Aquarius, Scorpio, and Virgo here. You have the Two of Cups, which is the only cups on here. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius with this Page of Swords. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. You got the Seven of Wands here too. It's almost like somebody's standing their ground. Or someone here is defensive. Someone could be defending something or someone is defensive here. They go to Ten of Pentacles. You hear Meech? <laughs> The Fool, they go the Fool card again, Scorpios. You remember you had the Fool over there. And the Moon card, mm. I've really been seeing that Moon card and the High Priestess card a lot. So some of you guys are deep dealing with a Pisces here. So let's check out and see what's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles. Now you could be someone single for some of you guys you're single, but you got somebody's spouse checking you out. <laughs> and you, you single, but they, but their person is your soulmate. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. All right, Spirit, why is this Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. King of Swords. Mm. Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles, Spirit? Dang, Five of Pentacles, King of Swords. Strength. For some of y'all, you may be dealing with someone here who is making someone else feel left out because their focus is on you. And when this person here is paying so much attention to you, this person is so into you 
that it is drawing attention to you. Somebody is dealing with someone here who is drawing attention to them. You're not drawing the attention. Your person is. For some of y'all. Mm. All right, spirit is queen of pentacles. What's up with this queen of pentacles for Scorpios? Is this, who is this queen of pentacles spirit? Two of wands. Planning decisions here at a crossroad here, needing to choose, needing to make up your mind, or, or at a crossroad here. Now see, they go to Ace of Swords here. Someone wants a breakthrough because someone's trying to make up their mind here about something. Do they want to give to this situation? Because now you have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And now someone is recognizing. They go to Six of Wands. Now someone is brought to somebody's attention here. See, for some of y'all, well, for whoever this is for, someone clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, like this Queen of Pentacles may be feeling like either they're going to have to choose something else or someone else is choosing something else. Because they may have, the person they're dealing with may have stopped giving to this situation. And with this Page of Swords being here, the Hermit card and the Tower card, I feel like something may have came out. Maybe this person went spying here, investigating, soul searching, looking for answers here. I feel like they found it. I feel like somebody's person stopped giving there. All right, because it's the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see, could be you. Spirit wise, says, who is this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios? Somebody may have to choose or somebody need to choose. The hanging man, see? This relates, see somebody, see, you see what I'm saying? These cards keep coming out. So it's almost like somebody is taking, sitting this Queen of Pentacles on the back burner. Could be a Pisces, just like whoever you were dealing with, they're sitting this Queen of Pentacles on the back burner. See, they go to the Ace of Swords. See, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like they're putting this Queen of Pentacles on the back burner. They're, they're not even giving this person the attention that they used to give. Now, this could be you and this person's putting you in the back burner. But, you know, you usually are water. Let's see, let's see how it play out. Spirit, what's up with this Queen, queen of Pentacles? Mm. Seems like they sitting them on the back burner. Mm. King of Cups. Because this person here, I feel like is in love with someone else. Dang. See, they go to four of pentacles. See, ten of pentacles. See, this is somebody. I'm going to have to get another card. Wow. Man, y'all. It's just like these relationships, they just, it's just the same thing. These people, people in relationships, they didn't fail for somebody else. And I feel like this person is no longer investing with this connection here, this King of Cups. Now this could be you. It could be that this person put you on the back burner. There's nothing going on between the two of you because somebody need to choose a path here. Now that's for some of you guys. Somebody need to choose a direction. Someone need to make up their mind what they want in life. But with this King of Cups, I feel like someone has feelings. But it is a masculine energy. So for you, some of you masculine Scorpios, you may have a situation here where you're dealing with a feminine who is uh, into stability. You know, she may be maintaining on her own here. Uh, and she may want something more with you. Uh, but Either you're not showing your feelings for this person or maybe you're denying the connection with this person here. Maybe you're not feeling them like that. Spirit, give me one more card for this Queen of Pentacles. See, two of swords. I tell you, this person denied ignoring this person again. There it is, see? It's like they're denying this Queen of Pentacles. They didn't, they're not even... See, because emotionally they have walked out, they've walked away from this Queen of Pentacles. Emotionally, they're not invested in this Queen of Pentacles. Now, maybe that's you masculine Scorpios. You're no longer invested in this Queen of Pentacles no more. And you're, you're ignoring or you, I feel like you're ignoring somebody here. And I feel like you've already tapped out emotionally for this person here. 
Wow. And I feel like it could very well be now that your person may be keeping tabs on you. And then it could also represent that your person, Scorpio, is keeping tabs on you because now they're ignoring. It's like their relationship is at a standstill because now their attention is on you. So what's up with this tower? And this your energy, something coming down. You see, there they go flying out. See, because it was eaten by termites, see? All that money in the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> That's your energy, Scorpio. The tower, Spirit. Watch the tower here for Scorpios. Clarify the tower. Temperance. Something came down because something was not balanced properly. Something was not... I feel like something was in balance. I guess it wasn't because you're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups because something was not balanced between a connection here to the point where, like I said, somebody walked away. Could be, could be dealing with another water sign here, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Why is the tower here? Seven of Pentacles here. Now, see, I feel like because somebody started taking stock and assessing the situation here, and somebody felt like it wasn't nothing going to happen out of this, out of that one, because somebody got plans for somewhere else. See? See? I told you. See? Because this person in love with somebody else. Look, the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Devil card. See? <sighs> They're the same King of Cups. This King of Cups is coming for this Two of Cups. See, they go to Two of Cups again. Somebody has walked away from another situation emotionally because their emotions is with somebody else. Now, I can't help this will come up, y'all. And like I say, this person is hooked on you. They're really on you, too. But I feel like something is going to come out because you got out. Let's see. Give me one more card for the Tower card, Spirit. See, King of Swords, this is what they're doing. They feel like they're, they're making a head over heart decision because after all, they walked away from their emotions, see? And it took this person to get stern with themselves to leave a situation here, see? Somebody said that they're not in love with that person like that. Oh, wow. Tower cards, Sagittarius here, Temperance, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. It's almost like somebody here is focusing on their emotional needs more than their partner's emotional need in a connection here because they're they're not really feeling this person like this. It's almost like somebody may have a grudge against somebody here. It seems like somebody just don't care. I, this is kind of hard for me hard for me to see because this king of cups is sitting here like like they are in love. They just don't want their love. They don't want to. Sage it in here. Because like I like I feel like this person is intentionally, maybe this person is intentionally, you know how a person try to dodge, dodge a relationship when they used to be intimate on an intimate level. It's almost like somebody is dodging them because they don't want that because they looking at somebody. You know how they get when somebody got their eye on somebody else. They don't want, you know, all of a sudden they, they ain't got time. They sleep and they tired and they sick. They got the runs or something. It's like this person don't want them to touch them if they were in a relationship where they live together. This is somebody here who always found excuses or always found excuses not to be close to this person because they're wanting someone else. Now let's see what this page of swords is. Now it could be this person here in a relationship that they're not happy in and they're sitting around here trying to 
tame themselves because they know that they in this other relationship. Once again, somebody's keeping secrets. All right, Spirit, why is this page of swords here? For Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Spirit, clarify the page of swords. Page of swords is the ten of swords. Mm. Now, I bet you that's the other person. I bet you that's that queen of pentacles looking and feeling that type of way. I bet you it is. I just feel it. It may not be, but why the ten of swords here? Because somebody found out the truth again. There it is. About somebody giving somewhere else. They go to six of pentacles, see? And now this queen of pentacles is feeling this way. Somebody person know. They may not know specifically about you, but they know about their person here. They know about their person, Scorpios. See? They know about their person, whoever this is. They may know about you, but they know about their person, though. See? Now you got the Hermit card. I'm telling you, somebody found out. Because like I say, your person here, it's almost like your person just didn't care. They, they just stopped doing everything they used to do in that connection because now they're focused on you. I wonder why they, it just seems so cold though. It's like they just intentionally ignoring this person. Of course it was gonna get their attention Hmm. Let's see, why is this Herman here for Scorpios? Could be a Virgo. King of Wands. I feel like somebody's been trying to find out how somebody been out here behaving here. Somebody probably been out here and like the King of Wands energy. Out here getting, get, see? <laughs> My God. Oh, somebody said that somebody been out somewhere else getting happiness. They've been out somewhere else getting happiness. Nine of Cups with the Queen of Cups. See? See? They say this person been out here acting like a community. You know what? Knight of Wands. That's what they finding out. Some of y'all person is a fire sign here. But they were all out here in the Night of Wands pursuing other people. It's, see, that's what I'm telling you, Scorpios. I feel like you're the Nine of Pentacles, and I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a Queen of Pentacles, and she's watching her person here. See? Now, it could be that, that their person is out here acting single, and this is what this Queen of Pentacles is, is finding out, and now they're her person in love with somebody else. See? Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is, this is how they feel about you. They got a lot of passion. I feel like this person has been pursuing you. Somebody been looking for answers. And this is what they're coming up with is that their person here has been out here living a life like they just single, like they just, like I said, they out here reckless, okay? King of Wands acting like the Knight of Wands going after something that made him happy, see? Mm. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna see what's up with this Two of Cups. Now let's check out this, let's check out this Nine of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, Spirit, you, you, the cards you have left is your Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Two of Cups, the star and the nine of pentacles all right spirit what's up with this nine of pentacles for scorpios clarify the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is <laughs> the knight of swords <laughs> now either this oh see 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 this person was anxious at this person came after you like they were single see you got the page of coins and the lover's card you're the third person here scorpio see 
your person was out here like they were single, all out here rushing in after you. See there? To look who they look at. They look at you like you. See, this is why this person is giving you their undivided attention for whoever this is for or whoever this person wants to do because they see you different. <laughs> for some of y'all, be careful now. You see this person in the Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy, you know you got that fertility. You see this Empress here. I feel like this person, whoever this person is that that is with somebody, Scorpio, their person is watching your person. They know about them. Page of Swords and they feel like they've been done wrong. Truth, like this person giving somewhere else. See? This person been searching answers here. Wait a minute. First of all, this, this is what started it. This queen of pentacles, this could have been somebody here who they, they could be in a marriage. They could have been in some type of stable relationship here, okay? Financially stable relationship. But someone is choosing a different path. Someone has ventured off from their normal decisions, planning. I feel like somebody's energy has shifted in a different direction here. So now it's almost like their relationship came to a complete halt. Because now your person here then caught feelings. And that's all that they're here to deal with is how they feel about somebody. Anybody else or anything else, they're not even paying attention to. It's like they ain't trying to hit it. Can't say they in denial about their love because they are, they're in the King of Cups. I feel like they're denying her because you got the hangman here. You got the hangman. There, there's, there's a standstill. It's like it just came to a halt. Their attention has been moving somewhere else. Now you have the hermit card. This this person looking for answers here. You know she's looking for answers because she's trying to figure out going through the phone, doing look whatever she doing. She must have found out something here because she feel like she's been betrayed because she has the truth about somebody crumbing her now, probably giving somewhere else, giving their energy, giving their time. Like I said, this person probably was praying, okay? This person probably was praying and asking God to show her what was her person doing. And I feel like this is what Spirit was showing her, that her person was out here. Because I'm sure she's dealing with a King of Pentacles, but they was out here like the King of Wands, in the Knight of Wands energy. And not only that, they, they, they wasn't with no Queen of Wands. No, they was out here chasing after the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups, which means that this person is in love. See? See there? That's probably why I got the four of wands here. So now, things done fell apart. Things coming down, because things that came to the light now. This tower card. So now, if somebody needs to try to hold things together, because I feel like this is a chaotic, chaotic time, okay? Somebody's trying to keep the peace because it's the already blew up, something and came out, and somebody's trying to figure out how to, to calm it or keep the peace with this temperance card. But their way is to walk away. Now, I don't think it's to walk away from you, and then it could be to walk away from you. But I feel like it's hard for this person to do. This person is trying to think. They don't want to think with their emotions here, but this person is thinking about, maybe this person is thinking about all that they have invested with this Queen of Pentacles, and maybe for some, this person is thinking about as much as they've invested with this Queen of Pentacles, that their best bet is to walk away from you. For some of y'all, this could be what this is, because this person is not dealing with their emotions, although they are in love. So th this could be it too. It could be this person here having to Turn a blind eye to how they feel. Because it could be this Queen of Pentacles saying, look, I don't give a damn how you feel. <laughs> we got these mortgages. We got these bills. All in our, both our name. We got these kids. <laughs> I know all your business. You know all mine. I don't care how you feel. I don't give a crap how you feel about them. You, you better, you better uh, put your big boy pants on and, uh, you know, ignore that. Ignore what you feel and walk away. This could be what this person did to Scorpios. 
because somebody said that they can't have you given your person given out to somebody else. But I feel like it's been a shocker to this person because like I said, you're not showing up as the queen of wands. You're the empress, baby, and it's nothing but love around you. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna be, see? Because their person was out here acting single. See, they person already fell for you, Scorpios. All out here making haste, chasing after you. This person ain't never met nobody like you. They met you and they lost their goddamn mind. See there? They, you know this person was chasing you? All up on you, see? Because you're the empress. They never met you. Could have been a cancer, could have been a Libra. See? So now I want to see how this is going to play out. Because I feel like for some of y'all, this person's leaving them. And for others, I feel like this person may have been given an ultimatum to leave you. And it's almost like they're saying they don't care how they feel. God dang it. <laughs> they don't care if they is in love. They, they better walk away from it. And that could very well be what this person has been trying to do. Okay? So let's see. Now you have the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpios? Two of Cups. King of Cups, see? It's hard for this person, see? And they go to Two of Cups, see? It's hard for this person to walk away. This person, see? Because this person feels stuck. They feel like they, they tied. <laughs> they trap, trapped. They caught up, caught up in the middle, in the middle of a two-way love affair. Oh, Scorpio, somebody trapped. <laughs> oh, they trapped. I'm telling you, y'all, somebody is trapped. See there? Because this is who they want. Who you think they, they obsess and who they think about constantly. See, your energy is all on this person. All over them. See? But they stuck. So let's see. You got the four of wands. Got the king and the queen of cups. All right, spirit. What's up with this four of wands? You notice you've been getting the king and the queen of cups a lot. Four of cups. I feel like this person may be feeling like they're about to miss out on an opportunity with you, Scorpio, because once again, someone may be actually thinking about closing out a cycle or closing out a chapter here. Mm. I feel like this is what somebody may be saying. Spirit, what's up this four of wands? Because it's hard for them. You see how they looking at your cup? And, this, and then some of you guys see the lovers. This is how this person thinks about you. You're the one that they want, Scorpios. Could be a Gemini. Ain't that something? I don't mean to sound self. I'm just telling you what the cards say. They want you, but they with somebody else here. See, three of cups. You're the one that they want here. It's something about your interest. Look, now there go that freaking king of pentacles. I knew they weren't far away. See, I tell you, some of y'all, this is a married person here. That's them fell in love with somebody else, and now they putting their wife or their husband on hold. Now here they are, been, been given ultimatums. The missus is, is found out all they dirt, and it's almost like it's almost like this missus is like, yeah, I, I see, I see you in love with them. So, <laughs> and and did else, you know? What's, love ain't got nothing to do with this. Nope, you weren't supposed to do that. You knew we were together. That, that's your fault. That's her fault. Gonna have to walk away from it. I feel like this is what this person is trying to do. Walk away from you. But they can't help it. They just drawn to you. I feel like this person is in love with you. So now you have the six of wands. Spirit, why is the six of wands here for Scorpios? Six of wands. Six of cups. Victory, success. I feel like this person wants you back. I feel like you must have already left someone here, Scorpio. Or maybe, maybe, maybe this person hasn't been coming around you because they've been given an ultimatum here. 
So I guarantee you, even though their their spouse has found out about them, they're watching you too. This person is like, this person is watching them, but they're watching you still. Just crazy. See, two of cups, king of cups, two of cups, the devil. See, they're watching you. And whoever they're with is watching them. All right, six of wands, six of cups. I feel like all this person do is think about you, six of cups. They have fun memories of you. You make this person, it's just like a, a special bond that you guys share. It's, a, it's an emotional, physical, it's just an attraction here. See, page of cups. I feel like this person wants to come back to you if, or this person wants to be with you. See, they go to four wands, see? That's your twin flame right here. It's twin flame soulmate person here. I feel like this person wants to apologize to you. And I feel like the reason why they do is because somebody know that they're married and they opened up your life to unnecessary drama. But like I said, they've never met anybody like you though. And this Empress energy they're smitten and they're in love with you. It sucks, but that's what happens. So now you have the star card, Aquarius energy. Spirit, why is the star here for Scorpios? Why is the star here? The wheel. The will of fortune. So either it is time, it's about divine timing and destiny here for something, something is going to happen in the near future here. What's up with the star card, major arcanas? Ooh. Mm. See, I feel like something is going to happen with this relationship because you got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and you have the Hierophant and you have the Six of Wands in reverse. I feel like something is about to change the dynamics of their relationship. See, you got the Star card. It's almost like somebody's about to get their wish anyway. Something's going to happen. God, they hire if they want to come out again. Spirit, why is the star card here for Scorpios? The tower, there it is, see? See, there it is, see? Scorpio energy. You got all major arcana. See, this is something, it's like Spirit's letting you know that there's something major going on between you and your two of cups or you and your twin flame to, to look. It's like these relationships, the wheel of fortune is coming back around. The wheel is always turning. And depending on what they did within their relationship, now I don't know if they did negative things to each other, which in return now I feel like it's freeing someone up to be able to move on because now it's coming back around and now they're judging the relationship. And someone is discovering that they're in love with you. Spirit, the star card. See, they go to the King of Pentacles. See, <laughs> just as good. See there, I told you, this is your married person here. This is why this person won't apologize because they put you in too much mess. This, this is between them and their wife here. But they got the wife watching them, watching you. They had this going on in their relationship. Their relationship wasn't all as solid as they want, as they wanted everybody to believe. Because you got the Queen of Pentacles down here, but you got the King of Cups. So obviously your person was looking for love, but maybe this Queen of Pentacles was looking for stability, period. I feel like your person wanted emotions, but this Queen of Pentacles wasn't giving it. Or maybe this person just started ignoring this Queen of Pentacles because maybe she, she wasn't you. You see the Queen of Pentacles is down here. I feel like, 
like I said, once the tower came down, then it brings an opportunity to heal a situation and to let someone's wish come true. Some of y'all have always wanted to be with this person. The only problem is that they was with somebody else, okay? But like I said, the wheel is turning and they're coming back around. And look, you, look that somebody person coming back around. This your soulmate too, Scorpios. This is your soulmate. That page of swords, see? <laughs> I tell you, they person watching them and they watching you like a hoe. I'm gonna have to add this to my stalker uh, playlist. Two of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Cups, The Devil, The Page of Swords, see? Didn't I tell you they're watching you while their person is watching them? See? But something is about to change, so don't be surprised if this person become available and single. Don't be surprised, because like I said, you got the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords is like, as soon as they get single, here they come. <laughs> see? <laughs> That's what it's saying, see? <laughs> this King of Pentacles is about to be free from this Queen of Pentacles. Why? Because this King of Pentacles has fallen in love with Scorpio, the queen of pentacles, or vice versa, and they've never met anybody like you. But with this tower card, within their marriage, see, you got the tower and the king, see, you got the wheel, see? The wheel, the tower, and the king of pentacles. This is why this person's finna come to you, Scorpios. And this is how they're coming. Detached, nine of pentacles, passionately pursuing you, chasing after you, overcoming, moving right into success, coming straight to this empress here, see? See, they ain't even showing up the emperor, but you showing up the empress. So you know this person ain't never met nobody like you. I'm telling y'all, for somebody, they finna get a divorce and this person coming to you. Now I'm gonna put that in the title, see if y'all watch it, because that's what it say. But this is your reading, so if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support, and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.